Consumer product companies are always targets of litigation, and particularly class action litigation. And in my view, companies should not wait to deal with litigation risk until litigation is on the doorstep. What they need to be doing is thinking about what their risk profile is and what their products are when they put them on the market and assess the risks at that time, including whether they think they're a potential target for uh, litigation, and then uh, determine how best to manage those risks in advance of new product launches, particularly when you're dealing with new or innovative products because they, by definition, will have a whole host of new risks associated with them that the market hasn't seen before. So the best advice I can give a consumer products company is to think about risks before they even come on the horizon and well before the potential for a class action lawsuit is launched. There are a number of factors that are creating an environment of increased uh, product litigation and particularly class action litigation. The first and most obvious one is the fact that we have a class action regime which is uh, fully engaged in this country and people are accessing it. You combine that with a very active plaintiff's bar, a plaintiff's bar that's expanding, a plaintiff's bar that is establishing strategic alliances with US firms who are very well steeped and experienced in this type of litigation. Couple that with an extensive expectation on warnings related to products. Consumers are now expecting to be warned about many, many facets of products and its advantages or its uses or its drawbacks than they ever have before. And on top of that, you look at the regulatory environment and governments getting more um, engaged in looking at consumer products and putting constraints around them. You put all that together and you've got the perfect storm to encourage an explosion, quite frankly, of class action product litigation, not only in Canada, but around the world. And we are seeing that. There are a number of aspects ha which have increased the potential that food product manufacturers are going to get sued. One of the most significant is the recent decision which allows end uh, consumers or product users to sue directly manufacturers and distributors in the supply chain with whom they don't have a direct relationship. That has expanded exponentially the risk for food product manufacturers and distributors because they are now open to litigation from a much broader group of uh, individuals or parties on a much broader class of claims. Apart from that, you have to look to the consumers themselves. Consumers in the marketplace are demanding different types of products. Products that are organic, products that are fat-free, products that are natural, and of course, food products manufacturers want to um, provide products that comply with these consumer demands. It's basic marketing 101. The difficulty is, however, you combine that with the litigious environment in which we find ourselves, and of course you end up with greater risks of getting sued if your claims related to organic or light or all natural don't turn out to be true or don't turn out to meet consumers' expectations. And as a result, we watched very closely as these products came onto the market in the United States to see how consumers and plaintiff slurs would react. And of course, not surprisingly, what we've seen is a significant increase of litigation against food product manufacturers who are putting new and innovative products out um, and are making these claims. We knew immediately when that started to happen in the United States that it would not take that long for it to migrate north of the border and join us here in Canada, and in fact, that is now starting to happen. So we're very closely watching the trends in the U.S. We are working with our clients both here and in the United States and around the world, in fact, to make sure that we are prepared to deal with this on a collaborative and well-managed basis and bring a solution to the litigation as it's coming that will provide them with an optimal outcome, not just here in Canada, but wherever their claims are made. Thank you.